Well, here I am on the banks of a deep pit in Cambridgeshire. Now, I've fished here a few times in the winter during the winter syndicate, but this is the well, it's my second time uh, down here in summer. I fished down here last week, and uh, it was it was tough going into two nights. Uh, had a couple of bites, uh, managed to lose two, um, but I did manage one. I managed a 28 off the top, which was a nice fish, and a nice long lean fish. I think it had just spawned, so it was completely empty. Um, but I really enjoyed that last session, so I came down here again this week uh, to have another go, and. Uh, yeah, it's all kicking off a little bit. Um, I've had, I've had I think I've had eight bites so far, um, and I've only done one night. I'm just going into the second night now, and it's just gone mad. I've not landed all of them. Uh, most of them twenties, one double, uh, the others twenties up to about twenty-seven pound, and uh, I've just landed my first Cambridge here thirty. So let's get it out now. Let's have a look at it. Well, here she is, my first Cambridge here thirty. Fish Cambridge here a few times before on some really tricky waters, but uh, all I had before was 20s, so it's, uh, it's nice to have a 30. Uh, this one weighed in at £32.14. Really pleased with this. Big fat female fish by the looks of it, and uh, been catching a few males up until now. But uh, happy with this one. Well, this is turning out to be a manic session. I've had 11 bites now, which has really surprised me because I don't know the water that well. So to get 11 bites from a relatively new water is uh, well, a fantastic result for me. Um, the catalyst for it all was a, a thunderstorm yesterday afternoon. It, it went from being flat calm, nice and sunny, 20 odd degrees, to just blackened skies, gale force winds and hailstorm. And uh, these hailstorms were about the size of golf balls, they were really pelting down into the water, into my rods, into the bivvy, and it's a new prototype bivvy as well, so uh, I've really give that one a bit of a baptism. And shortly after the thunderstorm, the lake just came alive. There were fish crashing everywhere. Um, they, they, they were moving around in the snags, and you know it, it just it just seemed to change the the, the whole lake and the, the way the fish behaved. And uh, probably about half an hour after the thunderstorm stopped, I, I had a bite on my left-hand rod. Um, landed that one, uh, 27 and a, and a half pound, I think it was. Um, just in the process of weighing it, when me, the other rod went off as well. Um, by rights, I probably should have lost that. You know, I was uh, you know I had, to, I had to set the net up as I was playing it in. Um, so I gave it a bit too much slack line, but you know I managed to bundle it into the net, and that was the that was the 3214 that I've, I've just showed you. Um, after that, I had another one in the night, a 3210. Now, this time a mirror, which was which was nice because it's mainly a, a lake full of commons. And then this morning, I had a 31 and a half, uh, again another another common. So it, it's, it has turned out to be a, a fantastic session for me. Um, and it's it's not just been about the weather as well. It's been bait really really wanted the bait I've got through 15 kilos of boilers and it's I'm using the mainline hybrid at the minute and they just can't seem to get enough of it down here I bought about eight kilos with me fresh just straight out of the freezer and then I've got another seven kilos of air dried you know when I've got a bit left over each session just put them into an air dry sack hang them up somewhere dry and warm uh, and, and then they can last me weeks and weeks and I just rehydrate them before I put them in and uh, I've, I've used all that, and I can't help but think that if I had more bait with me, I'd be catching more fish. Uh, but it's, it's not just about the hybrid as well, it's, it's about the, the, the hook bait and the, and the rigs that I'm using. Um, this is the current rig that I'm using. Basically, it's, it's a snowman, but uh, because I use the problem closest to the hook, I call it a reverse snowman. Now, the bait I've got furthest away from the hook, that's uh, bottom bait. Uh, I like to use the hard hookers. Uh, the dumbbell hard hookers simply because they're a bit firmer, so they, they, they put up with the attention of nuisance fish. Um, and if a bird picks it up, I know it's got to stay there, it's got to stay in place. All I do is just cut the end off a little bit just to give it a bit of a ragged end to, to release the smell a little bit more, and just so it looks more like a, a crush bait that's, that's gone out there. But I really do like these, these, these little eight millers. This is the white one, I've been catching on white and pink, and it's, it's done really, really well for me. And uh, the pop ups. Basically, they're just buoyant enough just to negate the weight of a size six hook. Um, so when a fish picks it up, all it does it feels just feels the weight of the bottom bait. Uh, but the best thing about them is it's a hybrid flavour as well. So it's not some really sweet, um, over-flavoured um, fruity boiling, which works really well for me in spring. But now it's summertime. I think the fish are getting used to that a little bit. So a nice little white or a nice little pink eight miller just to negate the weight of the hook. It smells the same as the bottom baits and smells the same as the freebies. It's fantastic and I've, uh, I've been doing really well on it since I've had them. Well, just as I was packing up, I went and got another bite, so that's the 12th bite for the session. 
not the biggest in the world, but it gave me a right old run around and got me stuck around a buoy, so we had to go out in the boat and get it. But uh, yeah, here we are, 26 and a half pounds, so uh, a nice way to end the session.